Romans 10, verse 11. Amen? Uh, it says, For the scriptures say it, Whosoever believeth on him shall never be ashamed. And uh, for there is no difference between the Jew and the, and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all them that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Have to have faith. That's why he says, without faith, it's impossible to please him. Years, we believe that the only way that you can get faith is by just hearing the word of God. In other words, somebody has to preach it to you. You have to sit in the church and hear it. Certainly that's true. But also, faith cometh by hearing you speak. Oh my God, I hope you got that. Faith cometh by hearing, by you speaking the word of God. By you speaking good things into your life. That builds up your own faith in Jesus' name. Okay? When you talk about good things, your faith is edified. Do you ever notice that you get around, well, you, you come to church. Okay? And when you come to church, you leave church on a high. Because you're around a bunch of faith-believing uh, uh, gospel speaking, you know, uh, people. So, so we need to talk about who who has has been healed instead of who's sick. Not to say we shouldn't tell people who's sick so we don't pray for them, but we need to talk more about the miraculous than the defeat. How many miracles you have experienced in your lifetime? How many miracles that you have seen in your own eyes? When you talk about that, see, you're not necessarily hearing it from a preacher, the, the, the word, but you're speaking the word, and that's faith coming by hearing what you're speaking, and your faith gets built up. Glory to God. I want to say this to you. Our immune system reacts to the information we feed it. My God. I'm going to say it again. You better believe it. I want you to write that one down. Our immune system reacts to the information that you and I feed it. We feed it. Feed it with the Word of God. And watch your system, your whole composure, your countenance, your thinking. Watch it all change for the better. Hallelujah.